All right, everybody say hi, John. Hi, hi John. John. Everybody say hi, Rosa. Hi, hi Rosa. John. All right, so we're going to continue looking at inheritance here. Uh, I think what we did is we had a generic sort of parent class, uh, the superhero class that we talked about last time. Uh, that was the parent class. What was another name for that? Super. Yeah, it was called the super class. That's kind of funny. And it was actually called superhero. And then down here we had the Marvel hero. And I think we said it, and this was the child class, right? Mm -hmm. What was another name for that? The child class? Oh, I don't remember. The opposite of super. So, oh, oh, yeah. Class. And there was a key word that allowed us to uh, talk about that relationship. Extends. Extends, that's right. So, extends superhero. And we had all sorts of um, uh, properties or uh, instance variables. They're also called fields. The strength, the speed, um, the name of the superhero, as well as like what the superpower was. Uh, with our superhero, we had a default constructor, which kind of applied all those values. Then we had a custom constructor, we had a two-string, um, a save method, and an attack method. All those pretty good. The Marvel hero actually kind of, uh, almost looks a little empty there by comparison, right? Uh, the Marvel hero had the default constructor and the custom constructor and the attack method. So both of them had um, an attack method. And any time that we have the same method in the child as we do in the parent, we say that the child overrides the parent method. Sort of like the same way that, uh, you know, there's ways that your parents act or behave, and you kind of are going to inherit that reaction or the, that may be the way that you kind of act in a certain situation, but you've got your own choice, and you can act the way that you want to. Make sense? Mm -hmm. um, and so, and this is a case where they, uh, the, the child class overrides the parent, okay? Now, if you read 11a, there is a way that when we're in the middle of this, we actually can call the parent class method. Do you remember how we, what, what keyword we used for that? Um, uh, yeah, super. Do we use the super keyword? Okay, hope this isn't confusing by having superheroes or super whatever, but super class, but that's okay. So if I look back here, the um, in the superhero, the parent, the attack uh, method just has a print line which says POW. The Marvel hero, it uh, printed a line, how do you like this knuckle sandwich, right? But we can actually have it so that we also call that parent method. And we do that by saying super dot attack. So we go to the Marvel Hero, I wrote super dot attack. Now when the attack method gets called for the Marvel Hero, we should see something that says like pow, and then a message that says, how do you like this knuckle sandwich? So we go over to our Earth class, and it looked like we had superhero S1, superhero S2, and then Marvel hero M1, Marvel hero M2, and then uh, we did a print line, and we did an attack, and then we had a save. Let's go ahead and run this.
So we did an attack, which is POW, then save, which is you're welcome. Uh, and then we just printed out uh, superhero S1, which is Dave, which is power and strength, then Bob, super fast builder. Then we had down here where our Marvel hero did an attack, and it actually says POW, and then how do you like that knuckle sandwich? And then you're welcome, which is just sort of the default. I think that one is not overwritten. And then Dave, strength, and um, uh, Elastigirl, strength. Why did we? Why does it say Dave Strength there for our Marvel, for M1? Let's go to Marvel and see what the default is. Do we have Dave Strength for both of them? I probably need to need to change that. The default Marvel hero is not going to be named. Uh, it's going to be named Marvel. Marvelous. And the superpower. It's going to be bedazzling. It can be it can be dazzled. That's the superpower. You just like totally stun and surprise your opponent. Marvelous bedazzle. That's the name, and that's the superpower. Okay, so if I were to go over here, we had uh, superhero S1 with reference mm -hmm. to superhero object, and we had variable S2 and this one Dave, and then we had Bob, then we had M1 pointing to a Marvel hero, and M2 also pointing to a Marvel hero. The default name, the default name here was Marvelous, and here we gave a custom name of Elastigirl. You know, Elastigirl is, I guess, not probably Marvel because she's made by Disney in coordination with Pixar, so, but you know what, that's fine. Okay. Uh, kind of giving us an idea about what's going on. Any questions on, all, on any of this? Okay. So one of those things that uh, also addressed in 11a that we didn't get to in class uh, was can we call the parent constructor, right? Okay, um, and uh, the answer is yes, we can. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go to the Marvel hero, and um, I'm looking here at the Marvel Hero where I set the strength, I set the speed, I set the name, I set the superpower, right? The only thing that, I mean, basically all of that is just customizing the superhero. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it, I mean, so what I can do is, is I really just want to, at this point, call the superhero custom, custom uh, constructor and send it all that pieces of information. So that's exactly what I'll do. I'll say super, because that's going to call the parent class, and I'll send it the information. It needs to be int, int, string, string, okay. So, strength, okay, I'm gonna send it. So the default marble needs to be strength of 100, speed of 99, name, marvelous, and superpower, bedazzle. It's the same exact result as if I were to set those instance variables, right? But mm -hmm. I'm just calling, I'm, I'm uh, kind of saving, saving myself a little bit of space here. It 
so that I'm also uh, essentially the only thing I'm really uh, making a difference in on the Marvel hero rather than the superhero is I'm setting my comedic level to eight. Okay. And the custom class where I'm given the strength or, and the speed and the name and the power and all that stuff, I can just call the parent class constructor and I'll send it the strength ST, I'll send it the speed SP, I'll send it the name N, I'll send it the superpower SPWR. The superhero doesn't have a comedic level, look how funny they are, so I, I'm not going to send them. So at this point, I basically just refactored the code a little bit. I haven't really, I haven't really changed anything. Um, I've just made it so that I'm calling the parent class here in the constructor. Does that make sense? All right. So I'm going to go to Earth, and I'll just run the skin, and uh, if everything works properly, you really shouldn't see any change. Pal, you're welcome. Dave, strength, Bob, success, brother. Pal, how do you like the sausage sandwich? You're welcome and all that other stuff was great. Okay. Um, let's see, what else? Do we, uh, so this is the two string. This right here is calling the two string. I'm gonna go look at the superhero. Okay, so it just says name superpower. I might modify that a little bit. We'll say name has the power and then the superpower. Let's see how that how that reads. Dave has the power strength. Bob has the power superpower. Sorry for another interruption, okay. but it's time that we get going. We're actually going to meet out front um, to cheer our ladies on their way out. So if everyone can come to the front and meet out front to get right that going, um, we're gonna do that right now. Thank you, mm -hmm. go Chargers. What's that? Were we recording any of that? Yes. Okay, you stop it. I'm just stop it.